Hi, my name is Andrea Bell Myers. I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Brass Community School. We're about to take a journey to see the movie Hidden Figures. It's a movie about three African American mathematicians. My hope is to inspire these girls about STEAM and to bring them awareness about African American history and American history as a whole. Come join us. What is the space race? What is the space race? Do you guys happen to know what the space race is? No? Okay. All right. <laughs> Great. All right, next group. Come on over. Read your question. Who is John Glenn? Okay. Do you happen to know who John Glenn is? A person who plays in a movie. A person what? Who plays A person who plays in a movie. All right. All right, ladies, read your sign. What is segregation? Okay, do you guys happen to know what segregation is? Where they where people separated blacks and whites. Okay. Alright. We're gonna learn a little more than that in the movie. Alright? Okay, I'll go to the side. Alright. Things move fast around here. Your clearance. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. This wasn't emptied last night. I'm sorry, I'm not the custodian. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. There you have it. No more colored restrooms. No more white restrooms. Just plain old toilets. Here at NASA, we all pay the same color. The goal point for re-entry is 2,990 miles from where we want Colonel Glenn to land. If we assume that's the Bahamas, it's 17,544 miles per hour. Velocity squared, sine, gravity. Sine, 32 feet. And the distance would be 20,530,000. 372 feet or 2,990 miles or 46.33 degrees. Okay, so that puts your landing zone at 5.0667 degrees north, 77.3333 degrees west, which is here. Right here. Give or take 20 square miles. All systems are reported go. 20 seconds to Seco. Our trajectory is still A OK. Go for Seco. Roger that, Capcom. Go for Seco. Zero G, and I feel fine. John Glenn reports everything looks good. It's not because we wear skirts. It's, it's not because, because we wear glasses. Wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so starting with our question again. So what it was the space race, and you were saying? I think the space race was when the USA and Russia were racing to see which country can send man out to space and back safely. That's very good. <laughs> so black kids and white kids couldn't go to school together, right? And in the movie, we had some examples of that movie. So what was some examples of that in the movie? Dorothy was looking for a book, and um, a white a lady told her that she's in the wrong section, that there is a color section, and Dorothy said that she was... Um, she, they didn't have the book she was looking for, and then they kicked her out of that library. 
she helped create the space shuttle that the astronaut was going to fly in. Okay, they, they, they she was all that she was the engineer. What is the importance of STEAM? I don't know if you guys know all the acronyms for STEAM, but STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Go, girl. So make sure you be careful with the, the rockets, the little wings on the rocket there. Make sure yeah. you don't cut it yeah, off. Yeah, make sure you don't cut them off. <laughs> I did. She told me to call all the time. She said, good job, lady. Two, three, open oh, sesame. Wow, what a wonderful four weeks. We have been engaged in STEAM, and the girls have uh, taken a field trip to see Hidden Figures. We've had class discussions. We've done journaling, and now we're wrapping up this four-week project with STEAM that's involving creating a circuit to create a three-dimensional pop-up cards. So the girls have never done anything like this using copper tape, uh, using LED lighting um, to make a circuit. So it should be quite interesting. So come join us. Let's check it out. This is called a solder iron here. Solder iron. And this gets super, super, super hot. I'm going to show you up here on the screen uh, what the circuit looks like that I created at home. So there's a circuit there. You may, make sure you have a space to work. Okay, so you're going to need a space to work as well. I just want to make sure I get the, the measurements right. Okay. And then you touch the solder, which is the lead free soldering right here, the lead. There we go. All right. This is not really underneath the copper, so we're going to have to move this one over a little bit. Okay? It's kind of like a gray. I'm just feel like you're ready to open it up. All right, that's pretty good. You're going to have a lot of work to do. Double, double this, this, double, double that, that, double this, double that, double, double this, that. There. My favorite part was when Katherine Johnson stand there for herself and she told the um the guy, I don't know what his name was, but he told him she told him that do you know how it feels to use something that nobody else wants to use? Coffee. About the coffee cup, yeah. Uh, and she stand it up for herself. She wanted to tell him the truth. She wanted to let it out. And then the guy he, he felt what she was going through and then he went to the bathroom. Do you know how it says it was colored and white? So he just like hammered it down and now everybody can use it. The favorite part that I liked in Hidden Figures was when Katherine Johnson had to keep on running back to the bathroom be, for the colors because she, there wasn't a colored bathroom where she worked and then the man who run the company kept on asking where is she and she when she came back she had to stand up for herself because he she kept on saying that there's no colored bathroom and he knocked down the signs and said there is no colored bathroom everyone gets to share a bathroom they so when they see her do the math they was like wow and then that's when they they wanted her to help 
um, them get John Glenn to the moon. I think that it will relate like, to my life because um, one day someone will be asking me that can they help, well can I help them with their math because I can do it. Girls, girls can do anything they set their minds to. My favorite part of um, the movie was when Dorothy uh, said that all she wanted to be was a supervisor, and then and then they and then she didn't get to get it, but then they gave it to her. Yeah, because these that I wanted to do, but I. But I knew I couldn't, I just gave up. But now I I'm gonna keep I'm gonna um still go for the dreams. I have learned that girls can do anything as long as you put your mind towards it and you really wanna achieve it. And if someone says you can't do something, you should try harder um to accomplish it. It's like a goal, like if you want to do something, go ahead and do it because that's what you really want to do. Like if you want a job at McDonald's, yeah, get your job at McDonald's. You just work towards it, that's all you have to do. And if you're a girl, yeah, you go for it because if a boy says you can't do something, that's that'll help you. So. Because boys think that you can't do anything, and if you do that job, they're gonna be like, "Wow, I thought she couldn't do that." And so, yeah, if you're a girl, set your mind towards your dreams, and you can.